So we live in Louisiana where there is always a mosquito problem and we're looking for the best bug zapper for mosquitoes and I, my friends over at BugMD reached out to me and they want me to do an unboxing of some of their bug killing devices. So I said, heck yeah, I'll send that on. So we're going to do a little unboxing of this thing today and we're going to test it out. One of them goes inside of a light bulb socket, which is super cool. So we're going to get into that today. First of all, hi, hi to all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic look at the products that we like, use, and have. So if you're interested in that, you might want to consider clicking that subscribe button. And these guys also sponsored this video for me. So first of all, we have this one. There's a couple of products in here, so I'm excited to show you guys both. This one is called the Zap Trap. And uh, it's basically this trap. It's, it's, it's like a portable mosquito killing device, a portable bug zapper. Um, it either works on a USB power or some AAA batteries, which I have some AAAs right here. We're gonna put those in to see how that thing illuminates today. And then the other thing that I was showing you guys is the bug, it's called Zapville, the bug zap light bulb. Very excited uh, to check this out. I'm gonna put it into this lamp right here because I wanna see how bright it is and all the different settings that it has because you can also use it as just a regular light bulb um, and just illuminates like an LED light as opposed to the they both have the UV lights on there which actually attract the bugs to the light and then from what I understand there's like a, a zapping mechanism in there that gets them. So I'm extreme. There's one more, what's this? Hold on, one more thing in here. Oh, cool, they sent me some extra bulbs right there. Awesome. So let's get into the trap first, the portable one. Let me get my Mike Vance knife, boom. If you guys wanna check these two out, I'll link them up down in the description below. Y'all can go read other people's reviews about them, not just take my word for them. I'm literally just unboxing them for the first time. So let's see what we got here. Let's see. Oh, look, the specs. So it said six watts of power. Uh, the grid voltage is a thousand volts. The material is ABS PC plastic. Protection scope, that's how much protection you'll get of mosquitoes, is uh, 500 square feet. Wow, that's actually pretty good. Uh, it gives off 80 lumens of light, and it says uh, the three AAA batteries. This is your little guy right here. This actually looks really nice. Got a nice little strap right here. So, so if you need a portable bug zapper for camping or something like that, you could easily hook this up somewhere and, uh, and go camping with this thing and have this thing running for you. This is awesome. Very nice sleek design here. Just a simple minimal cage. You can see the bug zapper in the middle there. And then it looks like we have some buttons right here. I'm assuming the bug one is means that it's gonna turn on the zapper. And the other one is just the light. So you, you can just use it as a light source. Um, this strap right here, I don't know if that's like a leather material or what, or suede maybe. Seems pretty durable right there. And it's got just these little buttons right here holding that on. All in all, this looks, and then, oh, the bottom port down here, that's where you plug in your USB cord, which comes with it right here. Let's, let's measure out this USB cord real quick so you see how much length you get with this thing. Boom, shy, oh yeah, yeah, uh, that's like a four foot cord right there from the tip of the hand all the way to the, almost the other side of the chest, I'll take that. And then, oh, here's the uh, instruction manuals right here. Yeah, the user's manual, it's pretty simple. Um, we're gonna go through all this and then they give you another little like get your free thank you from bug MD get a free gift on us cool all right and then the last thing that's in the box is a little cleaning brush nice little long handled cleaning brush so whenever you do kill the bugs you can slide this in there brush them off the thing another thing that I've learned from my experience with killing bugs is that you don't want to leave the bugs on like if they get stuck on, especially fruit flies, if they get stuck on the electrode things, they start stinking after a while. So it's good that they put in this nice brush in there. You can simply go in there, clean it up, and then just dump it out like that. Okay, we gotta find out where these battery, oh, I think I just figured it out. Batteries, top comes off, top part with the strap comes off. Little compartment right here for these three triple A batteries. Let me go ahead and place those in there. And you guys get a, uh, if y'all use the link down in the description below, you get 20% off of your order if you want to check it out. Okay, so we have this here, batteries inserted, light. Ooh, oh, the bottom lights up. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting the middle to light up. That, so going back to our camping experience, if you have your tent and you have a hook in the middle of your tent, 
You could put this way up high and you get all this beautiful light shining and illuminating the tent. I like how it's got this diffuser on it so it's not like harsh light on you. That is super cool. Okay, let's turn off that. Oh, it's got a dimmer. Yeah! One, two, oh, oh, it's got a flasher. That's cool, so like a SOS type of thing if you're having issues. Okay, so now let's turn on the bug light. Oh, okay. Let me, uh, let me turn on, I don't know if this is going to show very well, but it's like a UV light, it's a purple light to me. On the camera, it doesn't look like it's showing up purplish. Trying to get it close. Y'all can kind of see it in the reflection right here and a little bit on the light right there. Uh, so that is super cool. I'm very excited to get this thing hung up and see what we can catch. We have, so we have a couple of issues at our house. Like I said, we had, the, we have a, a coolie in the back that mosquitoes in Louisiana are just nuts. And so, um... I want something for outside, but this would also, I think, be great for inside with fruit flies. That's another issue that we have down here in Louisiana is that there's fruit flies like all over the place. And I actually have, I did an unboxing of it, some electrical fly swatter type things. Those are really hard to catch uh, fruit flies with, by the way. But hopefully this thing will attract the fruit, fruit flies and I can just leave it like on a shelf or something. It, it looks nice. Or I could hang it from somewhere if I've got like a little hook somewhere hanging down. That's gonna, I'm really excited to check this out. In fact, I think I'm gonna have to do a follow up video of this thing for you guys. Oh, you can have both on too at the same time. So if you want the illumination light and the uh, the bug light there, that is super cool. Oh, I, I like this thing a lot. Okay, now that is that first one right there. The only thing we didn't do was plug in the USB, but I mean, that's fairly simple. You just plug it in and go. Next thing. They are the light bulbs. Let's check these guys out. Finally rid your space of mosquitoes, gnats, and other flying insects with the flip of a switch. Let's open this bad boy up and see how this thing works. So the specs on this one are 120 volts, uh, frequency of 60 hertz, uh, 9 watts of power, Protection scope is fi uh, 500 square feet, but if you put two of them, one 500 feet away, the other one on the other side of the house, since they give you two in the box, you got full coverage there. Working temperature, negative 40 degrees to plus 131 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know what it is in Celsius. Maybe y'all can let me know down in the comments below, y'all smart math people. <laughs> uh, grid voltage is 800 volts. Um, lightning luminous flux, 550 lumens. All right, let's see what this is. Let's open this bad boy. I'm excited about this because we have some outdoor lights that we could put these in. Oh, maybe, I wonder if these would work as opposed to using like floodlights outside if I could screw in these because they're underneath an, an eave so that rain and stuff wouldn't get to them. That could be really interesting. I don't know if that's going to work or not, but uh, I'm curious to test that out. All right, we got the... Again, uh, some uh, information here, how to install and all that type of stuff. And then the thank you for buying card as well. These things are chunky. Okay. Like that. Look, give you guys an idea of her size. It takes up about my whole hand right there. I can palm this thing pretty well. Uh, actually make it nice and easy to get in and out. Of course, you get two of them right here. We're just going to utilize one. Oh, there's also another cleaning brush in there. So if you guys, again, need to clean it out, you can simply put that in there and get the little cleanup going on. Looks like on the interior there, it's a, uh, I see like a metal cage around it. Was the other one metal? Oh, this one just had, it was like a metal wire. This one looks like a thicker wire. That might be good for capturing bigger insects or smaller insects as well. Okay, cool. Let's see. Let's uh, let's get this thing right here. Let me have the lamp. Let's plug this bad. Oh, it's already plugged. Let's screw this bad boy in. I have no clue if this light is on. Okay, so we are just off right now. Let me turn off these lights so you guys can get a better idea of the illumination here. Uh, I'm gonna flip the switch. Okay, so the cage came on. Can you guys see the the purple in there? And then you also have your bright light, very similar to this one here on the bottom. So the light came on. Now this, hmm, okay, let's turn off, turn on. If you just want the insects to be on, to uh, capturing device to be on, the zapper, then you can switch it again and it'll just turn on that. And so now you're in zapping mode only. Super cool. I wonder if this light would actually help to attract anything. I don't know. So. You click it on once, you get both, and then you click it again, and then you just get that. That's super cool. I actually like this. So if it's on a wall switch, I'm assuming you just wall switch it, and then wall switch it again. 
Uh, this would be really cool. So let me, look, let's do this real quick. I want to show you guys something. You can, like while we're talking and walking, if you guys want to check this out, linked up down in the description below, use that link and you'll get the additional 20% off. But what I'm thinking about here is to take one of those light bulbs right there. See, we have this coolie here in the backyard behind this fence right here. It's like a big old giant ditch. And whenever it rains, the ditch gets full of water. And that water sometimes stands in there and it creates all these mosquitoes coming in. But right up here, above our rain barrel, we have just some floodlights. So if I could, it's underneath this eave, so it's in a secure area, but if I could put that mosquito trap right there, that would be perfect because I've had some of those other mosquito traps where you have to like, um, it's like a big cage thing and you have to plug it in. The issue for me is that there's no plug around there. There's no way for me to plug in the other traps that I have. But being that this is just a light bulb, I can just screw it in. The electricity is already there and, uh, and then we're good to go. I really, really like that. That is super cool. I'm assuming that the light in this light bulb is an LED light and... Um, so it, it should hopefully last for a super long time. Let me see if it says uh, 120 AC, 60 hertz, 9 watts. Uh, it, said, it does say use in a dry location only. Uh, so that, oh man, I wonder if that's dry enough. It's so humid here in Louisiana. I, I, I don't know exactly what to do, but I am very excited about these things. Like I said, I'm going to do a follow-up video of these things so that you guys can see, one, how many mosquitoes we get here in Louisiana, and two, how well these things are going to work. So if you guys want to see that follow-up review, I'm going to put that right there on the screen. Y'all can go and click that video, or YouTube thinks that this is the best video for you. So click one of these two videos. I'll see y'all in those videos. Videos. Thank you dads for watching and dad out.